observing anything. But listen to the contradiction of what you're saying to us. So I want to help people who are not in alignment find alignment. I want to be an influence, but I don't want to see any of them today. <laughs> I only want to see the ones that are already in alignment, okay? <laughs> Which is it? Are you an uplifter? Are you so incapable? Now we're just playing with you here. We're going to tease you just a little bit. Do you think that you are so incapable of maintaining your alignment and influence that you only want to see happy people all day? Aren't you really saying, I'm happy to be out there and see some of all of you and who I really am is this. And if any of you are in the vicinity of what I know you want and what I know I want, then maybe we'll have a meaningful rendezvous. But I'm sure not going to go looking for the one of you that's the most disconnected from who you are and give my undivided attention to you because when I do that your influence will win and this is the thing that we really want you to hear because there's really a big weirdness in that hear how weird this is we're gonna speak as if we are you I am an extension of source energy and I have the ability to meditate and other things and align myself with this loving creative energy that creates worlds I have the power to do that and yet sometimes I can meet up with someone who's not tuned into that leverage who just has a whole lot of negative momentum going and their negative momentum dominates me what's up with that it can only mean I'm over there in their world and they're better at being ornery than I am <laughs> think about it that's what that means do you really want to win the battle of who can be the biggest and the baddest and the meanest? Do you want to have the sharpest tongue? Do you want to be able to dig the deepest digs? Do you want to control like that? No, that's not who you are. You will always lose that game because nothing about you wants any of that. And you know what? They will always lose that game too because none of them want any of it either. But they're still fighting it out. In other words, there's this whole crowd of disconnected beings duking it out and triumphing over one another in this paltry, mediocre, puny, unpleasant cesspool of not being even close to who they want to be. That's not the game you want to play in. You want to tune in, tap in, turn on. You want to feel your clarity and your power so much so that you can see the value even in that bully. What he's thinking about himself right now and even what he's thinking about you right now has no relevancy to what you think about him because you're tuned in to the fullness of who you are and you know his true value, not his temporary separation from it. Mm. And we sure can understand why that would make someone like you nuts. Yeah. Because you've come for upliftment. But for a while it feels like upliftment must mean knocking the legs out from those who aren't uplifting. So if I could just push hard enough against all those bullies and all those mean, negative, hateful others, if I could just obliterate them through my pressure to them. And we say, only problem with that is law of attraction says you're not obliterating them, you're giving them power. You're throwing fuel on their fire where if you refuse to see their hatred, you won't fuel it anymore. Whew. You can't beat me with your hatred. Your hatred's not real. Oh yeah? I'll show you how real my hatred isn't. Well, I really wasn't asking for that. See ya. In other words, we're not saying confront. You can't reason with unreasonable, but you can get into your own power and you can be guided into the situation where you can be of greatest value. Thank mm -hmm. you.